breaking, Camilla finally agrees to interview, but not without white man to hold her hand. I mean, I told y'all she's incompetent. Of course, they wouldn't allow her to do an interview on her own. She need her handler there. She can't speak coherently by herself. She needs him there to hold her hand. So, of course, she's going to have the white man there. She's going to have Tim, Walt she gonna have Tim Waltz there guiding her along, making sure she say the right things. <laughs> Could you imagine her doing an interview and ask, answering tough questions on her own? It, she can't. She'll start cackling up a storm, and we wouldn't be able to finish the interview. So um, we will talk a little bit about that. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon. That's where I talk about things that I can't talk about here. There's also links to my Instagram and um, follow me on X as well. All right, so let's talk about this news. Now, this comes from the National Post. From William Upton, and he reports that Camilla Harris has finally announced her first major network media interview as the 2024 Democratic um, Party presidential nominee. Both Harris and her running mate, Governor Tim Waltz, will together sit down with CNN's Dana Bash on Thursday at 9 p.m. Best believe I'm going to be covering that. Um, I'm gonna I'm try to I'm gonna, yeah I'm gonna try to cover it live. I should be able to cover it live. Um, on Thursday, um, which it's just, I'm trying to think back and I can't remember a single interview, um, where Trump and Pence both sat down together. I, I, I don't, and I can't think of anyone sitting down with their vice president to do an interview, especially their first interview, their first interview that's highly, um, awaited. Why would you have someone else sitting down with you? It's not about the vice president. It's about the president. We want to hear from you. We can care less about about Tim Waltz. It's been, again, y'all know what the reason is. I think she's she still can't kick the alcohol. So they're going to kind of need him to step in when she's cackling and stumbling and can't answer the questions. But the interview will occur at CNN's headquarters in Atlanta, Georgia, a critical swing state in the 2024 presidential race. Until today, the Harris campaign had remained noncommittal on any major media interviews with both the Democratic nominee and her running mate. The campaign has struggled with how best to use Waltz for media engagement. Some campaign officials were concerned that the Minnesota Democrat might stumble in answering policy questions since Harris has thus far articulated little about her political agenda. And we know the things that she have released it's horrible. The, the policies that she that she has released will will just will um, put us even further in in, um, in um, an economic crisis. But Harris and her campaign likely chose CNN as the network provides both national coverage and a friendly Democratic Party environment. That's exactly why they chose it. The National Post reported in July that CNN's Jake Tapper revealingly referred to the network's viewers as our voters in a Pravda-like segment talking up Harris's appeal to Gen Z, which is untrue. A lot of people in Gen Z do not like her. But at the time, Harris, who turned 60 in October, had been aping um, the style of a 31-year-old English singer, Charlotte uh, Aitchinson, a.k.a. Uh, Char Charlie XCX on social media. I have no idea what that reference is. <laughs> maybe maybe that shows my age. I, I don't know. I don't know who that is. But um, CNN likely hopes the primetime interview will boast its uh, sagging ratings and revenue. In May, it was revealed that CNN had hit its lowest primetime ratings in three decades. Additionally, the cable news network own, um, network's own reporters tactically admitted uh, to aiding the Biden-Harris government in covering up the 81-year-old Joe Biden's cognitive decline as they feared such revelations would only help former President Donald J. Trump's bid to retake the White House. That's why nobody trusts CNN. That's why when um, Jen Psaki was talking, was it Jen Psaki? Uh, it was Jen Psaki and, and this other lady, I can't remember her name, was talking about uh, CNN and um, 
being news and, and that's why everybody laughs because everyone knows that CNN is a joke. Everyone knows they're another head of the Democrat Party and they don't they, they, they don't even try to hide it. They don't even try to hide it. It's easy to point out. But again, why would her for, for her first interview, why would she have her vice president with her? No one wants to uh, hear about him. We want to hear about you. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Um, leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.